My name's James, um, I work for BT as a software engineer. I studied the Master of Science Software Engineering programme here in the department. I think the most important thing that the uh, course gave me in terms of uh, preparation for my job was really good technical skills in terms of programming and project management, but also kind of softer skills. There's a, a, a module which involves undertaking a project, so taking a piece of software right from requirements capture through to design and implementation and then on to testing. That was really important in solidifying team skills, customer interaction, the kind of skills that you can't learn from a textbook. It was a lot of work, uh, it was really intense, but, but that was representative of the real world, so I think it was, it was very, very valuable. My final thesis involved uh, modifying a, an open source real-time operating system called FreeRTOS to run on uh, multiple processors. So this particular operating system was only ever designed to only work on single processor systems. It's a very popular uh, piece of software but obviously with advances in multi-core computing and that uh, being the direction that the industry is going in, it was seen as quite important to have real-time software able to cope with, with, with multi-processor systems as well. That thesis um, actually directly translated to a project that a research project that I started as soon as I started work with BT. Quite a specific but really important way that the course, I think, um, helped me in, my, in, in sort of starting my new job. James did some work on a real-time operating system uh, that de facto standard for real-time microcontrollers in industry. And I asked him to take this operating system, which works on uniprocessors, and port it to multi-core. He did this by using a lot of the techniques that we taught him during the course. He used our techniques for requirements engineering to understand that, our techniques for uh, specification to understand what he had to do about the properties the, the, the uh, new program had to have, and our courses on implementation. He took the operating system and he implemented it on an FPGA uh, using soft cores and uh, a microblaze architecture. Now he's gone to work for BT, his project is really relevant. He's working on a very similar kind of project and I think you can think that his um, uh, work for us was a prototype for the job he's now doing in industry. I did my undergraduate degree at York and so I knew firsthand that it was a really good university. It's obvious from reading any of the league tables how well respected the computer science department is. The course itself, I think the software engineering masters in particular, is packed full of really interesting modules. Um, and, you know, again, it's a lot of work, but it sort of covers all the important areas I think that a software engineer needs to be grounded in to sort of really confidently go into, go into it um, professionally. So, for example, there are modules on project management as well as real-time systems and concurrency and formal methods. So very sort of different but complementary topics within computer science and specifically software engineering. The lecturers, the academics are really, really great. I mean, that's probably the best thing about the department is how good the teaching staff are. They're so intelligent, they're so capable, they're sort of the top of their fields and they're really great teachers as well, which isn't a combination that you always kind of find. So James has gone to work at uh, BT's research labs in, in, in Martlesham and we're keeping on working together. One of the very nice things he's done is to find some of his colleagues at uh, the research labs in, in, in BT who proposed other projects for other students to do. Now these are not just in my area, they're involving a lot of my other colleagues. So these are to do with uh, real-time systems, they're to do with uh, human computer interfaces and they're technical projects that are grounded in problems at BT. And I expect they'll have uh, quite a, an impact once the students have finished. We like to propose different sorts of projects for our students. Some of those projects are really related to uh, industrial practice at the moment and they're able to bring to bear on, on uh, these industrial problems the kind of research work that we're, we're doing here in, in York and the techniques that we teach our, our students through the MSc projects. Now this really benefits us because it gives us uh, hard problems to work on. It also benefits the student because they can see how to take the theory that we've got and the tools that we teach them how to use, they can see how to apply these to real problems from industry. And you can't beat uh, a real problem. It's about solving, it's about solving hard things in, in a contextualised way. Uh, BT have real problems and we know how to solve some of those things and we can really push our students.